Major Ord Wingate. British intelligence. They say I was something of a rebel in the British Army. In 36, I was posted to Palestine, the British mandate. Back in 1917, the original plan was to help the Jews build their homeland. At least, that's what a lot of people thought. Jewish pioneers were coming from everywhere and settling with farms and orchards and towns on the land of their biblical ancestors. It was just like the Bible said. The children of Abraham were coming home. Marvellous. Simply marvellous. At first, we encouraged the idea of all this, even helped it along. But the government was using their best endeavours to block Jews coming to Palestine, totally on the side of the Arabs who didn't want any Jews there. To make matters worse, every night, local Arabs would band together and raid the Jewish villages, stealing, burning, doing terrible things. I refused to sit by and do nothing. Nothing. I knew the way to end this was for the Jews to take the initiative, take the fight to the Arabs, instead of waiting to be attacked every night. I went to them and told them they had to fight. I mean, really fight. And you will not win unless I teach you how to fight and I lead you into battle. I trained them how to be guerrilla fighters, how to take the fight to the enemy instead of waiting for the enemy to fight you. But I did more than teach them. I led them, showing them by my example that good officers lead their men into battle, put themselves out front. Well, we put a stop to those Arab raids, at least for the time being. It uh, didn't go so well for me, though, however. The British army didn't appreciate one of their own acting on his Christian faith and helping the Jews. In 39, they got their way. I was reassigned to London. But then, one of the young men I trained was a real fighter named Moshe Dayan. He went on to become Israel's greatest general. According to Moshe, I taught them everything they knew. Not a bad legacy. To this day, I'm told, if you ask anyone in Israel about Ord Wingate, most often you'll hear them say, you mean our friend? At the end of the day, that's the best legacy of all for any of us, wouldn't you say?